Emphysema is a type of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that affects millions of people in the United States each year. As a respiratory therapist or medical professional, it's a condition that you must be familiar with. We created this quick video to help. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Emphysema is an obstructive disease that results in increased lung expansion due to air trapping. It causes irreversible damage to the alveolar walls which results in permanent enlargement of the air spaces distal to the terminal bronchioles. Emphysema, along with chronic bronchitis, are the two primary types of COPD. The most common causes of emphysema include smoking cigarettes or tobacco, air pollution, and genetics in some cases. Keep in mind that in the United States, tobacco smoke is the leading preventable cause of emphysema. So now let's talk about the signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms of emphysema can vary in severity from person to person. However, here are some of the most common examples. Hypoxemia, shortness of breath, wheezing, use of accessory muscles while breathing, diminished breath sounds, and pursed lip breathing. Keep in mind that other signs and symptoms may exist. These are just a few of the most common examples. So how is emphysema diagnosed? There are many things to look at when diagnosing a patient with emphysema. Here are some of the most common examples. You will need to look at their vital signs, pulse oximetry, arterial blood gas results, pulmonary function tests, chest x-ray, CT scan, and their ECG. The physician may also recommend testing for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency in addition to the test that we just mentioned. Now let's talk about the treatment. The goal of treating emphysema is to increase the patient's life expectancy and quality of life while decreasing the number of exacerbations and hospital visits. Here are some of the general treatment methods. Medications, smoking cessation, disease management education, pulmonary rehab, avoiding triggers, and avoiding recurrent infections such as the flu or pneumonia. Again, Patients with emphysema are treated on a case-by-case -case basis, and the methods can vary depending on the severity of their symptoms. We wanted to create this quick video just to give you an overview of this topic, but we will be diving much deeper into more detail in a separate video. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.